Hello everyone and welcome to this video. If you're already clicking here, it's because you're interested in update your Lumia device to the last Windows 10 mobile update. This video is the one for you. After I search for a lot of methods, I finally combine the two of them that works better for me. So, using those methods, I finally upgrade to the last version. So, let me show you right now. Here in settings, you can see that my device is on more info to be exactly on 10.0.1525.4.603, the creator update, the version 1709. That one was launched for Lumia 950XL. As you can see, I have the Lumia icon. This is the 930 version of the uh, Sorry, this is the 930 version for the US on Verizon. This is, as you can see here on the software, it doesn't say Lumia icon. It says the 950XL because the software was developed for the 950XL, which is the lastest uh, Windows 10 mobile um, operating system that was launched by Microsoft before it was canceled. This one has the benefits of the store working. I'm going to show you right now. So you can see the Windows Store is working and all the apps related to Windows are working too. So let me show you right now how to do it. Let's start with, of course, you need your device. You need a USB cable and you will need this programs, this uh, files. All those files I will be up well it, they're already uploaded in my telegram channel I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can go in and, and download it directly so you can have it the, the what you need is the first one is going to be package installer UWP package installer Windows 10 mobile update and Windows device recovery tool installer this one, the Windows Device Recovery Tool Installer, you're going to need it in case that something goes wrong so this one can return your device to Windows 8.1. So this one is going to recover your device in case that you have any issue with the process. I did it a lot, but it was because I was trying. I was looking for methods that actually work. This method, I'm pretty sure that you're not going to have any problem and that you're not going to use it. But in case if something happens, is right there so you can use it so let's start i already update my device so i'm just gonna show you how to do it i'm not gonna update my device because it's already updated if i try to do it it's going to get bricked so in this case the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to be plugging the device i do apologize for the quality of the video i didn't find the software on my computer doesn't work the one that I use to record the screen. So I have to do it with the camera. Okay, device connect. Once the device is connect, you're going to go to this file. Is zipped, but I already unzipped. So you're going to go to this one. Right here, you're gonna click on Windows Mobile Update and those files you're going to unzip it. You're going to start with this one, which is Universal Updater. Once you click on here, it's going to pop up and you're going to have this screen, this command screen. So right here is looking for the is reading device information. Okay, it's going to give you all the information in regards to the device here. And then it's going to ask you for applying an offline package manually. So in this case, my device is already updated. But when you put yours, it is on 8.1, let's say, it's going to tell you exactly which update is going to ask you for it. So in this case, you're going to click 1, enter, and it's going to open this box. So in this box is the browser for folder. I got mine in desktop, Windows 10 update. You can see it right here. And then I have a Windows 10 mobile update. 
and this is going to be the package. You're going to select this package and it goes to update it manually. I'm not going to do it because I already updated mine. I'm not planning to break it again. Okay. After you did this, it's going to update it to just a moment, just a moment. Oh my goodness. Okay. After you do this, it's going to update to Windows 10 Mobile. The version, the version 14393.1066. After you do this, then just go, just just gonna go to your device. You're gonna go to settings. So you're gonna wait for the device to load up. It's going to have Windows 10, but this version of Windows 10 does not work. The store does not work. Any app works. So what you're going to do is after you do this, you're going to go to update and security. Click right here. You're going to click on Windows Insider. Sorry. You're going to click on for developers. And you're going to click developer mode. After you click on developer mode, you're going to have this. So you're going to pair your device with the computer. So mine is already paired. When you connect the device, you're going to be pairing it. But before pairing it, you're going to have to click on Turn All Remote Diagnostic User over USB. So it's going to give you this uh, Wi-Fi address. Make sure that you are connected at the same Wi-Fi network with the computer. So it has to be the same Wi-Fi network in order to work properly. So after you do this, you can see this. So you're going to click this in your browser. I already, I already have my browser open, so you can choose whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you anything about that. So you're going to type this one. Look. 192.168.2.123. This one. This address is the same address that I have on my Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to click enter. And this screen going to pop up. So right here is going to ask you to pair the device. So the device is going to give you a password. So you just have to enter the password. I already did. That's what it's not asking me for. After you do this, you're going to go to App Ma Apps Manager. In Apps Manager, you're going to have to add a package and dependency. So the first thing that you're going to install is, let me see, you're going to choose file, then you will be going to the folder that you unzip everything, and you're going to go to package installer. This is the app that you're going to install. You can see it right there, package installer. So you're going to select that. I'm not going to do it because I already did. After that, you're going to add the dependencies. So you can see that there is three dependencies. You can see it? So after you choose the file, which is the apps, which is the one, then you're going to add the dependency. One, two, three. You're going to choose the three dependencies that you see in the folder. After you do that, so let me show you one more time, so that way you don't get lost. Okay, desktop, Windows 10 updater, packaging styling, dependencies, ARM. So this, each dependency, you're going to install it. After you do this, you're going to do, let me update it, you're going to do the same thing with the other package. Let me show you the other package. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Then, after you do this with this package, you're going to do the same thing with the second package. This second package is going to have one app and 
three dependencies. Uh, sorry, yeah, three dependencies. So you're going to be installing. After you do this, bam, it's done. Your device is going to start to update over the air. And it's going to keep updating, updating until it goes to the last version of Windows 10 Mobile. After you do that, you're going to have the version of Windows 10 Mobile that I already have. In this version, as I mentioned before, the store works, Groove Music works, Calendar works, File Explorer, Contacts, all the apps from Microsoft works. And you can go to the store and you can download the, so you can see here that my mail is working. So you can go to the store and start whatever app you will install. WhatsApp is not available. Facebook is not available. Um, Instagram is not available. You can find a alternative on the store. But just to let you know, the one that I have here that works for message, if you still want to use Windows 10 Mobile, is Telegram. This is a version of Telegram which actually works. It works perfectly. So I keep in contact with uh, keep in contact with my contacts in Telegram because it works perfectly. There is some few uh, features that doesn't work like in Android, but they work. So this is the way to make use of all the Windows device, the Lumia device that you have that you still want to use it. I use this one for nostalgia. I love it. I love the design. This is one of my best Windows phone device that I ever had. I love it. still have it because why not? It's a beautiful phone. It's a beautiful software. It's a beautiful device. So guys, this is everything for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or go to my Insta, sorry, to my Telegram channel. I activate the comment section so you can comment if you have any questions. All the files is going to be up there so you, you don't have to go through a lot of ads and a lot of trouble to get the links to download the um, software. It's going to be direct online. Um, I don't like that bullshit at all. So, it's everything for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.